Thank you, Chengman. So, welcome to APU. My name is Adrian. Yeah, today I'm going to bring you for a campus tour. So, uh, I know many of you have came here before, but I'm sure that many of you haven't been here. So, today we are doing a short campus tour so that you can have a look and experience about APU when your class starts. So, at least you can have a look first. Yeah? So, let's go. Basically, the entrance where heavy ones actually comes in from here. Yeah. So we will start our campus tour from here, and let me grab my second. So basically, this is the student services and the main reception. So on the right hand side, you can see there's a thermal scanner. So when anyone says come in here, they need to be scanned. So to make sure that the temperature is not higher than normal. And on my left hand side. This is mainly the counseling area. Yeah. So, I guess all of you, uh, let's say you come for a campus tour, uh, you come for course and work, you might have seen it, all the shooting tables and chairs are filled with visitors. Yeah. So, let's go to the next So, this is student services area. So, this is where I'm belong. So in future, if you want to see me, you can see me here. So this is a department where we assist students in terms of non-academic issues. So if you want to know your fees, if you do not know where is your accommodation, or you need, uh, let's say, bank letters to open a bank account, you want to apply to PDBDN, so you can always come here. Yeah. So we go to another area. Now we are at Block B. So you can see behind me, so it is all the engineering lab. So if you are studying engineering, so this is the place that you use the most. So you can see on my right hand side, there's a CAD CAM lab. Yeah, on my right hand side, uh, on the left hand side, there's a uh, fabrication lab, whereby you can also see the 3D printer. And there's also different labs that you can see. Uh, this is the design lab. And this is the robotics lab. So you can see the robotic arms here. Yeah, students usually they use this yeah, for their study. And now we are going to the next stop. Let's go. Hi, so behind me this is the center point. So basically, this is the heart of the campus. So where a lot of students they like to mingle here. So can you see all these flags? Can you see? So there's a lot of flags here, right? So these flags also represent where our students come from. You know APU have students from more than 130 countries, right? Yeah. This is where usually a lot of students they love to chit chat, they love to sit around, and they love to chat all together here. And one of the reasons why is it here? Maybe because of behind this place there's a cafeteria. So later I will show you the cafeteria. Right? So if you can see here, so this is the atrium. So the atrium, uh, you can see the stage, right? So this place basically we held a lot of activities, cultural celebrations, and also independence days. So you can always see that, you know, after you're coming back to the campus, you'll have activities almost on a weekly basis. Actually, we can't wait you to come back because you'll be part of the activities. Yeah? Let's go. So, you see what they're doing? If you know that if you're studying in APU, uh, APU is a cashless university. Yeah? So, usually, students need to pop up their card into their student ID. Yeah, and they, whatever that they purchase or what they spend, it will be by using this card. It's very convenient and basically it's also record all your expenses in the university. So if you haven't opened your bank account, can you see which banks are here? The ATM machine? So Maybank. Yeah? So please open your Maybank account if you can. Let's go to the cafeteria. Hi, 
Right, remember I mentioned the cafeteria before? So this is our cafeteria. So you can see now this is not in full operation because of MCO. At normal days, uh, we do serve Chinese food, we do serve uh, Malay food, Indian food, Western food, and also some bakery. Yeah? So uh, my personal favorite here probably will be uh, lamb curry, yeah? uh, nasi kukus, uh, economical rice, and also if you can try to come in the morning, their croissant is the best. This is level 7 and we are going to the auditorium room. Welcome to auditorium 1. In, in APU, we have 5 auditoriums all together. And this is the largest auditorium among all. Today, there's supposed to be an orientation and you're supposed to be here. But because of MCO, you can't be here. So, I'll be sitting here for all of you. Come. Ah, this is so comfortable. So, as a student here, I mean, you don't just attend orientation here. So sometimes you also have your classes here. And sometimes we use this for performances, concerts, and industrial talks. Yeah, so like the chair here, you can have a table. Yeah, for you to write, for you to put your laptop, which is cool, right? You can see the auditorium in terms of the colors is really nice. You can see the sticker. Yeah, so as a good citizen of Malaysia, we have to maintain social distancing, right? So we cannot see, sit near to each other. And we cannot go to Kasana and Kasini. Okay, so let's go to another place. Now we are at level four. Yeah, so behind me is all the technology that so right behind. So this is exactly the Mac Labs and if you are doing uh, computer games, multimedia or animation, you might be using this lab. Yeah. So let's walk and show you more. So you can see on my left hand side, uh, this is the uh, server room. So uh, this is a cloud-based server to uh, take you. And if you can see here, so this is the uh, Alienware lab. So this is for students who basically, if you are doing computer games development or if you are doing your esports, yeah. So actually, you can use this room as well. Yep. Come on. So here, there's also different uh, labs whereby each computer, yeah, will have different software, yeah, and deployed for different uh, uh, for different programs, and you can use this based on your programs. So let's see, you know, around for more computers. This is also actually uh, part of APU technology facilities. Yeah, because this is only at level four. Yeah, because we also have in level five and level six. Yeah. So to me, probably you will see a lot, of, a lot of computers in APU. I mean, because we are the, probably the biggest IT university. That's why we have so many. So all the workstations you can see is a little bit different. Yeah. So this actually promotes uh, working together, yeah, teamwork rather than a conventional uh, labs where everyone is facing a side. Now let's go to the library. Opposite the level four uh, technology labs, here you can find a library. So you can see a library of different colors, very lifestyle. So it's not really like a conventional library. Yeah. So you can see a lot of tables, a lot of sofas. That makes a library very, very cozy. And you can see here. So this is a place whereby students are not just they read their books and study. So they also can relax themselves. So they can be there, I mean, uh, using the bini bags. So they can sit relaxedly. Uh, playing, uh, or they can play their phones, yeah, so they can do everything. Yeah. So as you can see on the other side, uh, you can see books, right? And forgot to mention, so we don't just have a physical library, so we also have digital library, so whereby you can access to hundred thousands of books in those digital libraries. So especially now during MCO, 
yeah you can use that yeah as part of your learning so when you come back from uh, MCO come back to your classes so you can actually uh, refer to all the physical books that we have so you can see here behind me uh, is all the discussion room so you can see the discussion room so this discussion rooms uh, is available for booking and is available for all students. So when students have their assignment discussion or they want to study together, yeah, so they can actually book this room. Alright? So and all these rooms are equipped with the uh, LTV TV or LED TV. So so that you can actually share your screen to all your groupmates. So without everyone yeah, looking at your computer. Let's go. At normal days, you know, the library is very crowded. You know, I, I don't see any library in the world which is so crowded and whereby so many people are using the library. Let's go. So here, so here behind me, so can you see there's a, a space, you know, behind the glass? So this is a quiet zone. So let's go to the entrance of the quiet zone. And you might wonder why this place is not quiet and why this is quiet. Yeah. So basically, as a student, I mean, I mean, especially when you're millennials, it's very difficult to keep you quiet. So that's why in this area, if it's not a quiet zone, basically you still can talk, but not too loud. All right. So, but if you really want to have a place where you're really, really quiet, then you have to. Go to the quiet zone. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, we are now still at level four. Yeah, behind me is the academic administration office. Whereby this is the place whereby students deal with their all their academic matters. So it could be exam related, it could be uh, assignment related, it could be uh, let's say related to leaves. So if related to academic, so students can always come here. And students, I mean international students can also deal with their visas here. Especially when they're doing their renewal and also uh, in terms of endorsement, they can also do it. So, and behind me, if you can see here, so this is the clinic. So if you are sick, any of our students, no matter local students or international students, you can always come to this clinic. And one of the advantages for our international students is, after they arrive, they also can do their post-medical checkup here, yeah, which is inside the university. Let's go. Hi, now we are on level 5, and I'm going to show you the coolest facility in the EPU. Ah, can you see over there? So this is one of the classrooms that you'll be using or probably after MCO, so you'll be using that classrooms. I mean in APU, we have a few blocks of classroom that you can use and every classroom with different capacity uh, to different students. Here we are. So this is the place that I mentioned, which is the coolest place in APU, yeah? which is the cyber security talent zone. Let's go in. Let's wash the hands. So you can see on my right hand side, so this is a cyber range, and on my left hand side, this is the cyber security uh, operation center. So let's go into the cyber range. Cool, right? So you can see at the back of me, so these are some software deployed basically for those who study cyber security, so in terms of hacking and defense. So, I mean, to expert, this is actually very similar to the military grade system. Whereby I think in Malaysia, we are the only university that uh, is using this system. So, for you who study cyber security, I think uh, you are so lucky to have this as part of your learning. So, let's go to another place. This is the Cyber Security Operations Center whereby uh, during the study, students should actually uh, make a duty 
so and certain hours, so whereby uh, this is part of the requirement of the studies. Come on. And on my left hand side, so this is Cisco Networking Academy because in terms of cyber security, uh, network is also very essential. So uh, the labs actually sponsored by Cisco and students actually can work with real devices, real switches, which is by Cisco. Come on. So this is uh, IoT research labs whereby here uh, students they do their research on uh, intelligence devices or intelligence uh, system. So whereby you can see a lot of uh, products has been created. Yeah. So when we are here after MCO, we will explain you more because we do really achieve a lot of uh, awards and wins a lot of competition through this IoT. Uh, and this is the uh, Forensic and Cyber Security Research Center. Of course, this place is basically for students uh, to use this place for competition uh, preparation in terms of uh, like doing their final year projects yeah, and also uh, preparing for their competition. So students actually can use this place. I mean, you can see this place is really, really cool. And there's a lot of meeting rooms, plenty of meeting rooms here. Um, and this is for students who actually uh, are doing their FYP or present their FYP. They will use this place as well. And if you can see, every room comes with different colors. Yeah, and different colors means that it's cyber security. So basically, you do simulation of attacks and defense. And they will play like the games whereby they simulate how the real attacks is happening and how people defend it. So if you're doing cyber security, Basically, you'll be using the whole place here, right? So let's go. Now we are at another building of APU where all the design uh, studio or design facilities are all here. Can you see this mural painting? So it is actually done by our students. Yeah, so beautiful, right? So on my left hand side, so if you can see uh, the Dandelion 2020, this is basically uh, the final year project or exhibition had to be done by any design students during their final year. We just had this just before MCO. So, uh, now we are going to see the green screen shoot. Follow me. Welcome to the green screen studio. Yeah, this place is a bit cold than normal rooms. Yeah? So if you are studying design or using this room, please make sure you have a jacket. Yeah, behind me, so you can see the wall, whereby it's a little bit unique and special because this room uh, is soundproof. Yeah, so this is basically a soundproof material, whereby on the wall, just to actually uh, to make sure that the external noise will not interrupt your video shooting or any of the video production here. Come. So this is a green screen studio whereby a lot of video uh, production or video editing or superimpose is done here. So let me try. Ah, so is it green on the left and right? Yeah, so it's cool. So here is another backdrop and this is basically for photo shooting. So the photo shooting, uh, you need a white background or we can change to any other background. So when you study here, then you will know. Let's go to another facilities of design. Come. Now I'm actually at the design studio. I mean, this studio is basically uh, focused on drawing. Yeah, and if you can see here, uh, there's a lot of drawing that you can find. It is really nice, creative, and probably I would say our students are really, really talented. So come. Yeah, there's there's some character modelings here. So also done by our students. And usually before you go to any animations, you have to develop a character and this is what you do. Yeah. So, and you can see there's a lot of drawings that you will learn here in terms of the skills. And on my right hand side, so you can always see a lot of different computers and maps whereby specifically for VFX students, for animation students, and also for all the design students to use. Yeah. So when you come back here, and you can explore yourself more because there's a lot more to show in this campus. Welcome to the design workshops. 
This place is actually for students who study industrial design and this is a place also will get your hands dirty. Yeah? So if you are doing any uh, design courses related to industrial design, definitely you will use this place. Let's go to another workshop. So now we have reached the model making studio. Let's come in. So you can see a lot of modeling has been done here. It is all very creative. Yeah, it could be furniture, it could be transport, it could be any products. And here, uh, this is the clay workshops. So as you can see here, uh, this is one of the prototype of the car that were done by our transport design students. You know, a lot of uh, guys who study, uh, I mean, uh, design, I mean, transport design, so they love to uh, make cars. So this is one of the cars whereby it is made by clay. This is the accommodation on campus accommodation. Students who stay in on campus so they will stay here. So at the bottom here, you can see uh, this is the sweat zone whereby it's our gym. So all the students can use this gym for free. Yeah? So on the left hand side, uh, there's a basketball court here and it's a half court. So all days, a lot of students, they play basketball here. And actually, at the ground floor, we also have another full court basketball, uh, basketball court and also two futsal court. So if you guys would like to play some sports, so we have these facilities for you. So that's all for my part. So I hope you enjoy the campus tour. And of course, there's a lot more to show. Yeah, but I would love all of you to experience yourself when you're back to the campus. Yeah? Thank you. So I will pass back to Chengman.